Tomorrow on the campus of OCC, child advocates are hoping for a packed crowd. They put out the call for anyone in Central New York who's involved in youth athletics or other activities involving young people to come and learn about how to identify abuse and abusers. This is being sponsored by the McMahon Ryan Child Advocacy Center in Syracuse, and it comes in the wake of the Bernie Fine scandal. The former SU associate basketball coach denies the allegations leveled against him by three men who say the sexual encounters happened when they were young. Dan Leonard is one of the featured speakers at tomorrow's event. He's here to share his story of abuse. Dan, thanks for being my special guest tonight. And for background, here's a bit of an introduction. The abuse happened when he was 13 and 14, when he was a player on an elite football team in Pittsburgh. He went on to play football at Cornell, very proudly. He's lived in Syracuse for 30 years. He is dad to three grown children. He's battled back from alcoholism and came forward as a survivor of sex abuse in 1995. A disclosure, he says, might not have happened were it not for a good counselor. Dan, I know Penn State really rocked your world all over again. How so? Th what, what it did for me was it brought back all the, um, uh, the cover-up that was involved. Uh, the abuse that happened to me by a football coach, I believe, was well known by a number of people. There was plenty of suspicions, but nobody said a word. Um, the same thing happened at Penn State. There were plenty of people who knew or suspected what was going on, and it was continually covered up. So it's, it's hard to realize that people are still doing this, covering up for these people. I know at the town hall meeting tomorrow at OCC, you'll tell the people how to look for signs of abuse. If people had been looking for signs of abuse back when the abuse was happening to you at the hands of this football coach, what would they have seen? What, what should they have seen? There's two things that they could have and should have seen. One is that in no event should an, ad an adult have a very special relationship with a child. What do you That's mean? That's age inappropriate. Someone, if, if an adult and a little boy are best friends. That's an aging appropriate relationship. Um, and that's a real sign that something is probably going on. You mentioned one-on-one -on -one time between either a coach, a teacher, whoever, an adult with a child. Right. The second sign is one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, in no event should these adults be left alone in a one-on-one -on -one situation for your child. That means a lot of times it's coming over to watch, wash the coach's car or cut the coach's grass or the coach drives him home from practice or takes him out to dinner or certainly takes him away for a weekend but um, all those all those things are signs and all those things happen to you yes I, every one of those you told me as we were setting up this interview tonight that if you run an organization involving children sports the arts whatever it is your group is a magnet for pedophiles that is a terrifying statement that's right but that's the truth and that's what we all need to realize if you have a group of kids these predators out there they will find you you're not doing anything wrong but they will find you because they go after kids so you need to protect yourself and that's that's what we want to talk about on the Bernie fine case something that you've watched unfold you live in Syracuse um, your thoughts on the credibility of Bobby Davis and Mike Lang the two chief accusers in this case well first and foremost I'd say is let's let the investigation play out um, there there are professionals working on that um, my personal opinion is I believe that Bobby Davis is is credible um, uh, but I, but then again, I haven't talked to him, so you know, um, so I don't know. What's put out in the press is not always the truth, as we all know. Who Let's should let the investigation continue? Who should attend this event tomorrow at 6:30 at OCC? Anybody uh, tomorrow night. But what we're really looking for are 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 the board of directors, the coaches, the people involved in youth sports. Um, to come out and 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 not necessarily sports either it could be any organization we're looking for that we're also looking for parents parents it's your job to protect your child and you can learn a lot of good things at, at the meeting tomorrow night you and the other panelists are promising people will walk out of that meeting knowing something or maybe many things they didn't know walking absolutely in. absolutely signs how to report mm -hmm. what to expect when you make a report uh, and we will have contacts and a, lo a list of resources to, that you can walk out of the building with. All right, Dan Leonard, thanks for being here. Okay. Thanks for sharing thanks, your story. Michael. I appreciate it so much.